Today I want to show you interesting stuff that can happen if you program in C. I have this program here which um, which calculates uh, in which derives a key using a cryptographic hash function uh, hkdf and every time I run it this value the output put key length gets magically changed without me assigning to it and it is different every time I run it. So you see it's now 237, 182, 81 uh, and I started the debugger which isn't what I wanted to do right now. <coughs> so uh, let's go to the editor again. Um, as you see <coughs> this variable output key length gets assigned the length of this uh, array output key and I'm not assigning to it anymore I'm passing it to this function and that's the only thing I do with it, it uh, it's only the value, it's, it's copied, it's not a pointer and this printf here prints 205, the value it should be this printf here prints 18 suddenly. <coughs> so how does this happen? Um, if I debug this program you see the following. I'm gonna make this little this down. So um, here you see um, I'm gonna uh, run the program. By that I put a breakpoint here. No, uh, let's do it again. Um, the program stopped here in this line, so it hasn't executed this line. And you see here, the value of output key length is 205, and you see the info pointer, the pointer to the info string, um, which is <coughs> uh, this string has uh, a relatively low value well because it's on the stack um, so now if I go to the next um, line I, I execute th this line something happens the value changed to something unpredictable <coughs> and the same thing happened with the info pointer the info pointer has some totally different value and the output key length has a, an, an, a, an entirely different value. So how could this happen? I didn't assign to it, I didn't do anything. So what did I do wrong? The problem is, somewhere in this function, I'm given this function this pointer output key, it's a pointer to this array, and salt, which is a pointer to this array, and info, which is a pointer to this string, uh, this array. Now all those values, um, output key and the arrays and the salt and output key length and every, everything is um, allocated on the stack because I'm not dynamically allocating memory here. I'm doing static arrays so all of them are on the stack right next to each other. Now when I pass a pointer to one of those arrays and I step over the bounds of one of those arrays I might accidentally overwrite some of the other values which is exactly what happened here. Um, I overstepped the bounds of uh, either output key or salt or input key or info and right next to it happens to be output key length and this info pointer seems to be uh, also overwritten by, by um, going out of the bounds of those arrays. So this is why you have to be really careful when programming in C that you don't do stuff in memory that uh, that you always check the bounds of arrays that you use because uh, there can be bugs like that that uh, are very hard to debug and 
can have security implications like um, people being able to get uh, to get code into your program that will then be executed which is called shell code so I just wanted to show you that